Presonus Sphere, Money Grab or Amazing Deal. So, what is Presonus Sphere? Many people think of it as just a subscription to Studio One, and you do get Studio One Professional, but you also get much more. Things like Notion, a bunch of plugins and loops, the collaboration and backup features, uh, cloud storage, exclusive tutorials, expert chat, all updates to Studio One and Notion, and new plugins and new sample packs when they are released. So first, let's take a closer look at what's included, and then we'll compare the pricing of subscribing to Personas Sphere versus purchasing Studio One outright. With Personas Sphere, you'll get the latest version of Studio One Professional, plus everything included with Studio One, and you'll always be on the current version, so no extra upgrade costs. You'll also get a bunch of add-ons, like the Empire High Density add-on, audio batch converter, Presence XT add-ons, and even the Personas Symphonic Orchestra. There are extra plugins included, plus you'll get more when they are released, and you currently get over 75 royalty-free sample and loop libraries, and more are always on the way. The full version of Notion is included, which is Notation software, and you'll always be on the latest version. Plus you get over 40 Notion expansion packs, so you can always find the right instruments for your composition. You have access to expert chat, exclusive live streams and tutorials, the artist exchange portal for presets, effects chains, etc. And one of the coolest features, in my opinion, is the cloud and collaboration features. And the person or people you are collaborating with don't even have to be Personas Sphere members. In fact, they don't even have to use Studio One. Or if you're like me and you don't really collaborate with other people, the cloud features still really come in handy. You know, I kind of think of it like iCloud or OneDrive or Google Drive, you know, something you might use on your phone but integrated into Studio One. You can back up your Studio One settings, upload tracks, even upload entire songs, and recall them on the same system or a completely different system. So let me show you what I mean. First, we'll back up our settings to the cloud. I'll go to Studio One, Backup and Restore, and save a backup. Then, perhaps you upgrade your system hard drive or get a new computer, and you do a fresh install of Studio One. We can save a lot of time by restoring our settings. And you can even choose what you want and don't want to restore. Maybe I want to collaborate with my friend, Doug. He has Studio One, but not Personas Sphere. No problem. I'll head to my Personas account, create a workspace, and add a collaborator. And Doug already has a My Personas account, but if he didn't, he could always get one for free, even if he didn't own Studio One. He'll click the email, log into his account, and accept the invitation. I'm away from my computer at the time, but I see the email notification. So I open the My Personas app on my phone, head to Workspaces, 
and send him a message. And even though he doesn't have Persona's sphere, he can respond and even upload files. Once I'm back at the computer in Studio One, I'll head to Cloud and open the workspace. I need Doug to record a voiceover for these two tracks. So all I have to do is drag them into the workspace. But you could also export stems and upload them this way. or export a full mix down and under publishing, choose upload to Personas Sphere. Over on Doug's computer, head to cloud. And even though he doesn't subscribe to Personas Sphere, he can log into his Personas account from within Studio One. Then go to collaborations, open the workspace, and there's the files. He can preview the files, download the files, or just drag them in, which will download them. He can then do his voiceover work as normal. Once the tracks are recorded, he can simply drop them right into the workspace. Or he can export stems and publish to Presonus Sphere, or export the stems and upload them manually on the website, whatever he prefers. Back on my system, I'll refresh the workspace. There's the files Doug recorded for us. I'll drop them in and finish the project. But what if Doug was a Pro Tools user? No problem. This time I'll create a new workspace right within Studio One, and I want Doug to add a guitar to this drum track, so I'll drag it in. And let's say I'm late for a meeting and I forget to invite Doug to the project. No problem. I'll grab my phone and open the My Personas app, or you can log in from a mobile browser, head to the workspace, go to Details, and add a collaborator. I'll also add a message. Doug sees the email alert on his phone and he can accept the invitation and log in or create a free account if he doesn't have one. Scroll down and accept the invitation. Then he can read the message, play the file and write back. Once Doug gets back to his studio, he would log into his free My Personas account, go to Workspaces, and download the file. Then drag it into Pro Tools or whatever DW he's using, and add his guitar part as usual. Once he's done, he can bounce out stems or a full mix. Head back to his My Personas account and drag the files into the timeline or into files. I'm still at a meeting, but I see an email notification and log in. I can preview the file and even suggest changes or leave comments at a specific time. Of course, you can do this from a computer or tablet as well. Once I'm back in the studio, I'll head to the workspace and drag in the file. And you don't have to collaborate with other people. You could start working on a song on one system, throw it into a workspace, and drag the tracks in on another system. To back up an entire session to the cloud, first I'll create a new workspace. 
Then go to File, Convert To, and choose Zip File. Check the box next to Upload to Presonus Sphere and hit OK. From this window, choose the workspace you want to upload it to and hit Upload. If all you wanted to do was back up the session to the cloud, then you're done. You can see the backup in your Personas account, download it, add comments, add collaborators, etc., etc. But you can also open Studio One on the same system or a completely different system, head to your workspace, and drag in the entire session. Now that's pretty cool. And it gets even cooler if you use an iPad, iPhone, or Android device. Maybe you start a song using an app. You can then export that track or multiple tracks, and then upload it to a workspace right from your device. Then when you get back to your computer, open Studio One, head to your workspace, drag in the track or multiple tracks, and finish the song using Studio One. So that's a quick look at what is included in Personas Sphere and how to use the cloud and collaboration features. But what about price? A one-year subscription to Presonus Sphere costs $164.95, which comes to $13.75 per month, or about $3.44 per week, or about $0.49 cents per day. So the question you have to ask yourself is, will having access to all of these tools allow you to generate over $0.49 cents of income per day? Or if you're a hobbyist and you're not necessarily using it to generate income, does it generate 49 cents per day of entertainment value or learning value or investment in your future value? You know, you might start off not making any money from your music or podcast or whatever, but as you continue to work on it using all of these tools, does that 49 cents per day pay off in the future? And it's not always a monetary return that people are looking for, you know? Uh, if you pay your cable bill, you don't expect to make money from watching TV, right? but it provides a different kind of value, entertainment value, relaxation value. Uh, if you take a couple of friends out to a movie that could easily cost, you know, 80 to hundred dollars once you figure in the popcorn, drinks and candies, etc. And when the movie is over, you don't expect the usher to come up to you and hand you $200, right? You don't expect to make money from watching a movie with your friends. But this interaction has a different kind of value, you know, relationship value, entertainment value, relaxation value, right? So I can't tell you if you should subscribe to Personas Sphere versus buying Studio One outright. And we'll look at the differences in price here in a minute. But you'll have to decide for yourself if Personas Sphere provides you with the value you are looking for for your specific situation. You can also subscribe on a per month basis and cancel any time with no penalties. So you could subscribe when you need it and drop it when you don't. The per month cost is $14.95 a month, which comes to about $179.40 per year, or about $374 per week, or about $0.53 cents per day. So the per month subscription is a little bit more than the yearly subscription as you would expect. But what about purchasing Studio One outright? Now the math on this is not straightforward and I have to make some assumptions. You also have to keep in mind that with Personas Sphere, you're getting about $4,000 worth of products plus all upgrades. With Studio One, you're just getting Studio One for that version, meaning if you purchase version five, there will be an upgrade cost to move to version six. You also won't have access to the cloud features, the extra plugins, Notion, all the samples and loops, the exclusive live streams, etc. So keep that in mind when looking at these numbers. 
I'm also not figuring in any interest if you happen to put the Studio One purchase on a credit card. The cost of Studio One Professional today is $399.95, and let's assume it's a full year before version 6 comes out, which would be a paid upgrade. Now, these numbers will be drastically different depending on the exact release schedule of new versions. There may be more time, there may be less, but let's say one year. That would come to $399.95 to be on the latest version for one year, or $33.33 per month, or $8.33 per week, or $1.19 per day. After one year, let's assume version 6 comes out and you want the new features. The normal upgrade cost is $149.95, and we'll assume it's two years before version 7 comes out. So in a three-year period, you will have paid $549.90 to be on the latest version, and that's just for Studio One. While in a three-year period, it would cost $494.85 to subscribe to Personas Sphere. If we break this down further, it looks like this. Based on our three-year period to purchase Studio One outright and upgrade it once, it comes to $183.30 per year, or about $15.28 per month, or about $3.82 per week, or about $0.55 cents per day. And that's just for Studio One. It doesn't include all of the extras you get with Presonus Sphere. Of course, if you purchase Studio One, you will own it forever at that version. But if you subscribe to Presonus Sphere, you'll always have access to the latest version of Studio One Professional, Notion, extra plugins and samples, the cloud features, the exclusive videos, all upgrades and new add-ons when they are released. So, should you subscribe to Personas Sphere? Well, that is a question that you will have to answer for yourself, you know, based on uh, does the subscription provide you the value that you need versus purchasing Studio One outright. But if you have watched this entire video, then you have more than enough information to make an informed decision on that question. If you want to check out Personas Sphere even further, I'll have a couple links in the description below.